Like, let me give you a fun fact. I'm sure you mm. didn't know this. So, in the year that Lara Dutta, Dia Mirza, Priyanka mm. Chopra, all of them won, and there was a round, there was a swimming suit round in which paparazzi came yeah. out. And guess who was in the paparazzi? <gasps> I was, I was one of them. It just happened. Someone came and slapped me on stage. Yeah. yeah. Not just slap me once, slap me thrice. What kind of mindset do you have that you think it's okay to hit, first of all, a Nihatta person, secondly, a woman, thirdly, someone who's not caused you any harm? If Rocket Singh had to release today, I think it would have been the biggest blockbusters. I would have probably been the next superstar to have hit the market. Mm. And I'm just happy about the fact that I'm standing with Yash Chopra and mm. Aditya Chopra and Ranbir Kapoor and Rishi. I'm standing right there, right? And then suddenly Rishi ji says, Baki sab chodo, baki sab chodo, baki sab chodo. Ye ladki, ye ladki. And he points at me and he says, she is the best thing in the film. My season was the first time that it was declared that yes, Hmm. I was in love. The scrutiny of being in the public and having started the relationship, they kind of got the best of it at some point. I think every relationship is personal and uh, hmm. it takes its due course. Yeah. How was that journey of motherhood for you? He's recognizing me and now when I go home, he'll be like, oh, like <laughs> both his hands will come out oh. like this and it's uh. just like, you want me? <laughs> like, <laughs> Call it fate, call it coincidence, uh, my next guest has always been a part of some of the biggest moments in my professional career <laughs> and uh, technically this is my first podcast and uh, she is a guest here as well and uh, I just don't know how but uh, stars always align for us too and uh, I always feel happy and excited when I'm in her company and uh, today is another such day as I'm joined by the amazing Gohar Khan and it's time to let's talk with Bollywood Bubble. Yay! Yay! Uh, God, firstly, <laughs> welcome. Thanks. Uh, I feel like uh, Bollywood. Why didn't you add one more point in the introduction that when we meet, we just can't stop talking and all the interviews get like really lengthy. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I think that's just uh, a talent of mine. <laughs> <laughs> it, it comes out with you. It comes <laughs> out with you. But yeah. uh, I would start with you from where I started following you, huh. where I started seeing uh, who Gaur Khan was and that was the Miss India stage. It all started there. And yeah. you joined at a time when uh, pageantry was on another level. Absolutely. There was another level. In of fact, history. I believe that 2002 was that was the last year of that hmm. level that I'm talking about. Where, of course, Mr. Pradeep Guha was. I give him complete credit to you know putting the Miss Indias out there the way he did, the way he glamorized Miss India, the way he m made it into a national event. Yeah. Till that year, I think 2002 probably was the last year that he was involved in it and I think he had a lot to do with it of course he's he's passed away now yeah. but uh, uh, yeah I do give him a lot of credit for that yeah. it was more about how do we conduct the pageant that the best of the best comes out of it because for representation of in, on India, the international platform that used to be a lot of high regard absolutely and I you know you won't believe it Aaj bhi, uh, a lot of people come up to me and say हमको ना हमको ना आपका वो टैलेंट राउंड का एक्ट याद है आप बच्ची बनी थी आपने वो आवाज निकाली थी एंड आई एम लाइक हाउ हाउ डू दे रिमेंबर दैट फ्रॉम 2002 एंड हाउ वुड दे रिमेंबर अ कंटेस्टेंट इन अ सब कंटेस्ट ऑफ अ मिस इंडिया पेजेंट आई मीन आई अंडरस्टैंड इफ दे रिमेंबर मिस इंडियाज बाय देमसेल्व्स बट आई ऑनेस्टली डू नॉट रिमेंबर एनी एनी sub contest winners or what they did in those sub contests as I was remembered and I think yeah. it's a huge deal for me to have had that impact as a 17, 18 year old um, and even now people remember that so Miss India had a huge impact back yeah. then. True, true and I, I remember that uh, as you said na, sub contests nahi aad rehte hain like kal ko kisi ko poochho ki even the recent winners what they did they no. won't know and no. especially because wo focus zyada wo yeah. main telecast yeah. pe ho gaya hai like i remember selena jetly uh, was uh, obviously a miss india contestant and she won hmm. miss india also but why i remember her was because sabya sachi was hmm. her designer for her local pageant matlab india wale pageant mein yeah. 
उनका जो नेशनल कॉस्ट्यूम था या जो भी उनका वो डिजाइनर उस वक्त होता था एक राउंड जहां पर आपके सिटी के डिजाइनर्स आपके लिए बनाते थे ओके एंड आई रिमेंबर द फर्स्ट टाइम आई एवर हर्ड द नेम सबे साची मुखर्जी वॉज बिकॉज ही डिजाइन सेलिना जी एटलीस्ट आउटफिट बैक देन फॉर मिस इंडिया And so uh, at the age of 17 18 seeing that whole uh, hustle bustle of the backstage how was that like amazing nerve wracking crazy it was like am i did i really make it to the miss india stage because like let me give you a fun fact i'm sure you yeah. didn't know this so in the year that lara datta diya mirza priyanka yeah. chopra all of them won uh valusha was also a contestant mm. in that year yeah. uh if you watch the pageant i don't know if you have ever watched that pageant uh it happened in pune city mm. okay and there was a round there was a swimming suit round in which paparazzi came yeah. out and guess who was in the paparazzi oh. i was i was one of them because at that time mai pune mein rehti thi aur college college going ladki thi of course 11th i think i was in my 11th standard or something yeah. like that and and i was the paparazzi ah. on stage and i'm clicking oh. lara datta and i'm clicking uh, priyanka chopra and i, I don't know who's going to win but i was just clicking contestants it was a round yeah. that they come out and we are going yeah so um uh, i've been there and mm. then i was like two years later i was like i am a contestant mai mm. oh, i've reached it I've, and by the way i didn't even ऑडिशन फॉर मिस इंडिया क्योंकि जब मैंने अपना फोटोग्राफ भेजा था उस वक्त ऑफिस में यू नो यू यूज टू सेंड पिक्चर्स एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट मैंने भेजा था एंड फेमिना से मुझे कॉल आया था कि यू नो मिस्टर प्रदीप भुआ इज विजिटिंग पूना और आपके राउंड्स हो रहे हैं एंड आई हैड मलेरिया तो आई वॉज इन लाइक हंड्रेड एंड थ्री फीवर एंड आई वॉज इन आई वॉज लाइक आई कॉन्ट कम आई हैव आई एम नॉट गुड दे सेट दे लाइक योर पिक्चर सो मच प्लीज जस्ट कम शो योर फेस लेट मिस्टर गुहा मीट यू इन पर्सन and then see how it goes i said okay and literally mai gayi thi normal aise jeans ya t-shirt mein gayi hongi and i was wearing a shawl like this and i remember i met pradeep goa like this no makeup <laughs> no nothing as a 17 year old girl with fever malaria mm. completely down he just looked at me he said can you stand and i stood and i was literally shivering like this because malaria mein aap bahut kaapte hain mm. and he just saw me and he said okay no problem go I went home. I didn't do any swimsuit round with him. I didn't do anything like that. We didn't do any weight check, height check, nothing. And I got a call the next day saying that you're selected for the national round. I was like, what? So that's how it happened. But like surviving in Mumbai at that young age, yeah. And when you are doing such uncertain jobs, uncertain in the terms of ki you don't know where your next check is gonna come from. Yeah. Was it? How was that time dealing with it all? नो मॉडलिंग फॉर मी वॉज इन अश्योर्ड जॉब कि मतलब इतने शोज होंगे इतने फैशन वीक होंगे आपको इतने शोज के इतने पैसे मिलेंगे आई न्यू आई वॉज मेकिंग मनी बट इट वॉज इंट लाइक एग्जॉबिडेंट मनी इट वॉज इन लाइक वाह इतना सारा पैसा आ रहा है बट फॉर मी फॉर्चुनेटली वाइल आई वॉज मॉडलिंग राइट आफ्टर मिस इंडिया आई गॉट अ जॉब विथ बी फॉर यू सो बी फॉर यू वॉज माई फर्स्ट जॉब एज ए वी जे देन फ्रॉम बी फॉर यू आफ्टर डूइंग दैट फॉर लाइक वन एंड हाफ टू ईयर्स आई मूव टू जूम Mm. I don't know if y'all can mention all this, but mm. it was my it was my uh, anchoring job. Mm. Uh, so while I was modeling, I was also dabbling with TV, which mm. is as a VJ. So for me, it was a very amazing balance. That I had this job too, and here I was getting the excitement that I am doing something which I am enjoying. I am in front of the camera. You know, I. I'm I'm going to music festivals. I'm going I'm traveling for you know uh, uh, shows, TV shows, mm-hmm. whatever. So, मुझे वो balance था. पैसा it was not like my God, कितना पैसा बना रही हूँ. But yes, Alhamdulillah. Before I did Zangura and uh, Rocket Singh and Jhalak, mm-hmm. I already had my own one BHK apartment, and I you know I was I had all those securities. I knew के पैसे कैसे जमाना है, कैसे you know सीढ़ी climb करनी है. जितने मेरे dreams थे. Uh, वो मुझे कैसे अचीव करने हैं तो धीरे 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 वो हो रहा था बट वो करने में आई थिंक फ्रॉम 2002 थाउजेंड टू 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 थाउजेंड नाइन वेन आई डिट झलक नो या टू थाउजेंड नाइन आई डिट झलक दो सेवन ईयर्स येस वॉज अ स्ट्रगल बट इट वॉज लाइक आई वॉज आउट ऑफ वर्क आई वॉज वर्किंग एवरी सिंगल डे ऑफ माई लाइफ बट येस ऑफकोर्स मॉडलिंग उतना ज़्यादा पे नहीं करती है उस पर स्पेशली उस वक्त इस वक्त आई एम आई एम होपिंग दे गेट पेड वेल इनशाला बिकॉज दे आई थिंक मॉडल्स आर 
मैं हमेशा अपने इंटरव्यूज में बोलती हूँ कि मॉडल्स वर्क द हार्डेस्ट बहुत काम करते हैं एंड दे डेफिनेटली नीड दैट काइंड ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट ट्रू बट लाइक यू सर ना यू हैव बीन अ वी जे वॉज दर एवर एनी इंसिडेंट वे यू काइंड ऑफ सॉ लाइक अ टेंट्रमी साइड ऑफ अ स्टार एक बहुत ही दिग्गज पर्सनैलिटी थे ये नहीं बताऊँगी कि कौन से फील्ड में थे और ऑफकोर्स ही इज पास्ट अवे नाउ सो यू कैन इमेजिन द एज बट ही वुडन लेट गो ऑफ माई हैंड द होल इंटरव्यू आई वॉज सिटिंग लाइक दिस एंड आई वॉज लाइक दिस इज ऑकवर्ड लाइक हाउ डू आई फुल माई हैंड आउट बट द होल इंटरव्यू आई वॉज सिटिंग लाइक दिस and i was a huge am a huge fan of his talent and his work uh isliye main specifically bata nahi rahi hu kaun se field mein no, 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 but this i'm talking about when i was in in b for you you know many hmm. many 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 years ago and then uh, it so happened that my director obviously realized that yahan kuch thoda ajeeb chal raha hai hmm. and uh, as soon as the shoot got over he just told me go or go to your room and lock the door i was like okay I don't know why he said that. I locked the door and I got to know that later he was just asking for my number and asking for where I am and why I couldn't meet him before I left and all of that. And I was like, "Oh my god, I'm just 18 years old. Why is this happening with me? Like I'm a huge fan of this person, but it's awkward. It's awkward yeah, to be it imagine is. imagine if I'm not that far, of course he was huh. sitting. If yeah. I'm just sitting like this in the whole interview, <laughs> you want to pull your hand away right yeah. but i was i don't i didn't know how to do that and also like uh, when you are the person interviewing you can't be the reason to kind of yeah, you go the, that goes to mind you can't be the reason for it someone right he's such exactly. a big star and you're just a vj at that time exactly the power dynamics come correct. into the question and of course it's your job yeah. so you can't be like you know aap uske sath khel nahi kar sakte <clears throat> so bahut sare aise incidents yeah. the ek bahut hi cute uh, incident tha ke गोविंदा जी का इंटरव्यू था एंड ही इज सच अ काइंड मैन इज सच अ लवली मैन एंड यू नो इट वॉज माई कजन्स वेडिंग आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट बैक इन द एटीज एंड आई वॉज आई थिंक टू और थ्री ईयर्स ओल्ड एट दैट टाइम एंड तभी हत्या रिलीज हुई थी शायद एंड ही एंटर द वेडिंग एंड एवरीबडी वॉज लाइक यू नो पासिंग ऑन द किड्स टू गोविंदा जी फोटो लो फोटो लो फोटो लो एंड ऑल द किड्स व ऑबियसली crying and you know they didn't want that they were just being forced on to poor govinda and i remember he saw, spotted me and my mom says this that he spotted me and he realized that i had short hair exactly like you know the hatya child and uh, i was not crying so he himself picked me up and i went to interview govinda ji as a vj in b for you no i think it was zoom no b for you and it was at his bungalow and all of that and he waits and he's so kind and he came and he sat and and uh, before i started the interview i said you know i have a picture of you and i with me in your arms and i was around 2 3 years old and he just got up and he said is ladki ko zara bahar 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 bhejo bahar bhejo ye mujhe ehsaas kara rahi hai ki main boodha hu isko isko zara bahar bhejo iske sath mujhe interview nahi karna and i was like i felt bad i was like he really did so and then he laughed loud loud and he was like betho betho i'm just joking uh, even now when he meets me uh, he says uh, तुम वो ही लड़की हो ना एंड लाइक ओ गॉड इन फैक्ट इज वाइफ इज रियली स्वीट एंड ही मीट्स मी शी आल्सो मीट्स मी वेरी स्वीटली बट यू नो सच क्यूट थिंग्स यू रिमेंबर आउट ऑफ योर जॉब्स टुडे वी स्टिल लिव इन अ वेरी लिबरल वर्ल्ड बट व्हेन यू वर स्टार्टिंग एज अ मॉडल इवन इन मिस इंडिया यू हैव टू डू स्विम सूट राउंड यू हैव टू डू सम बोल्ड फोटो शूट्स यू हैव टू वेयर सच क्लोथ्स वाज देयर एवर अ पॉइंट व्हेन पीपल जज्ड यू एंड काइंड ऑफ ट्राई टू रिडिक्यूल यू बिकॉज़ ऑफ योर रिलीजन मे बी or because of other bases no in fact there is more judgment now hmm? back then no one really bothered because there was no social media ah. so who would judge your family members yeah. extended family members my father and mother never allowed that so hmm. we were just like they knew ke hamare bachcho ko aap kuch bol nahi sakte kyunki hum hain hum apne bachcho ko bata sakte hain kya galat hai kya sahi hai kya karna hai kya nahi karna hai so my father and mother made sure that no none of the external negativity if there was any came to us Thanks, thankfully, mm. Alhamdulillah for my parents for that. But today, a lot of negativity is. Anything you do, not just religion-wise, but look at what it is. True. On you can't have basis. an opinion anymore uh, on social media. Not just on. I would not name the apps, but any app, mm. uh, whether you are meant to write or whether you are meant to post a picture mm. or whether you are meant. Now you understand what what I am yeah. talking about. 
um, you can't have an opinion you can't have brains you can't have uh, what you want to write what you want to say because obviously that there will be a machinery that will come yeah. against you which will uh, talk so much rubbish about you that you'll be like do i really want to give my opinion to people out there who are not just so rigid in their minds mm. they are so right wing about things they are so negative about things they do not understand the concept of live and let live they do not understand the concept of brotherhood of unity of love of of rationalism just be just just like be rational and think that if this is the case then this could be the case also but ye soch hi band kar di hai um there's a scope of most discussion of it, anyway. most of it is bots most of it is a well driven uh agenda yeah. against people uh so yes i i believe ke ab bol ke ya उसके ऊपर बॉर्डर करके फायदा ही क्या है Sometimes I feel like trolling has become Sometimes a job. Sometimes I feel like there was a better time before social media. Yeah. Yeah. That that so I agree. There was a better time. People were more accepting, yeah. more tolerant, more patient, more uh ki bhai ek news channel aata hai, us pe theek hai ye ho raha hai, acha uh, life mein ye sab chal raha hai. Hmm. Yahan par kuch galat ho gaya, yahan par kuch sahi ho gaya. Wahan tak dekh ke ghar mein apne apne log discuss karte the. Dekha आज क्या हुआ देखा ये होता था इनसेंट जमाना आजकल क्या हो गया कुछ नहीं डाला तो इधर इधर करियर लॉन्ग साइड यू दैट वॉज काइंड ऑफ फ्लरिशिंग वॉज योर सिस्टर्स Yeah. Nigar. Yeah. And uh, then there were comparisons of yeah. this com- uh, Lee because people uh, when two they people never came to us, same. but no comparisons came to us. But I think that that way then you are fortunate enough. Yeah. Because otherwise, I remember when Khan sisters came. You know why? You know why? Because Nigar was in the TV world hmm. as an actor. Hmm. I was in the TV world as a VJ, yeah. and we had a difference of four years. Yeah. Well, by the, she came in 1998. I came in 2002. So when I was just starting off, she was already established. So we never clashed. हमारे career paths कभी clash नहीं किए. In fact, जब हम Khan sisters में एक साथ आए, a lot of people appreciated that. Yeah. In fact, even today, it is one of the most watched shows. And people are like, why are you not making Khan sisters too? I'm like, please ask the production house. If you if you don't remember, I had said this to yeah. in the first interview Correct. itself. Correct. Because it was like the Indian Kardashians. Yeah, us. yeah, but it was a good show. It, I think it, it was, was one of its show. first reality, hmm. you know, spaces that was introduced. And I still remember one of the bravest step that you took in one of those episodes was when you went and got those lip fillers. They were not fillers. This is sorry. the twentieth time. Yeah, I'm, sorry, I'm not like, fillers, not fillers. It was but, just water. It, it was water. like a saline water. Ah. it was called lip augmentation i still remember the term because it was so bloody <laughs> torturous for me uh i wanted to see what it would look like what would mm. fillers look like yeah. uh so they said theek hai ye saline water ka ek hota hai ki wo 2 ghante mein aapke blood stream mein chala jata hai aur aapke hote phir se chote ho jate hain lekin wo 2 ghante mein jo maine usko dekha aur i couldn't recognize myself oh my god i i i that day i knew that i will uh, never get lip never, fillers never, never ever never that. ever because i remember your face was like this and the camera was oh throughout this way oh my god I and i made them shut the cameras yeah. and the next day the production was like they had a meeting with us and they fired us and they said you cannot by contract ask them to shut cameras i'm like okay but <laughs> i could recognize myself but uh, that was actually a very brave decision to take at that yeah. time because and also that was a very bad job done by that doctor yeah. because he gave me bruises blue bruises i remember all over which were which lasted for almost 20 days and ah it was just a nightmare that <laughs> that thing that was but entertaining television of Let course right everybody like ha she got fillers ha like it's uh, just water it's just augmentation yeah, right? it's just augmentation what the hell <laughs> But that, uh, then came acting. Like yeah. you have had a very gradual kind of progression, I would say, yeah. from Miss India 
pageantry to modeling then to acting yeah. and then acting came no it, miss india to vjing to ah, acting vjing to acting yeah, yeah. like she has been in this seat guys yes. that we just tell yes. you uh then i'm still a host by the way i do a lot yeah, of live yeah you do a live lot of shows. hosting yeah. i i had uh, seen yeah. a couple of award shows that you have hosted correct i also had a recent netflix show which i was a host on so yeah, yeah. but like you came to acting and you started with uh, one of the first projects that stuck out was rocket singh yeah and that project had a big cast it had a big uh, yeah. big cast as in the big lead and yeah. uh, a big production house backing it yeah. but somehow it did not resulted into that kind of offers that you would have or maybe someone who debuted in a yrf film yeah. and with ranbir kapoor would have hoped for yeah. was it how was it dealing with that uh, i kind think the of times have changed you know um, if rocket singh had to release today I think it would have been the biggest blockbusters with the kind of film that it was with the kind of writing that it had with the kind of actors that it had it just came way ahead of its time yeah. and that time the industry was not ready for a film like that for a simple film that was so strong on paper so strong in performances that it should have probably swept off all the awards that year uh i got a nomination i was in debut and for uh, uh best supporting actor i got one award as well uh but i think if it had released today i would have probably been the next superstar to have hit the market uh but i also believe that everything happens for the best is yeah. because if i hadn't debuted with rocket singh i wouldn't be the actor that i am today um uh, i was exposed right at the beginning uh to a director like shimita min uh who gave me the opportunity to do a film like rocket singh yrf being the production house uh really really you know treated me well they 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 supported me jaydeep sahani as a writer he actually helped me recognize and realize the actor that i am he told me ke tum kabhi change mat hona tum kabhi uh kiske opposite ho iske piche mat bhagna तुम ये देखना कि तुम्हारा किरदार क्या है बिकॉज जो तुम हो वो तुम्हें भी नहीं पता अभी तुम तुम्हारे अंदर क्या एक्टर है जस्ट फॉलो योर इंस्टिंग्स एज एन एक्टर एंड दैट्स व्हाट आई हैव डन दैट्स व्हाट आई हैव डन दैट्स हाउ आई टुक अप रोल्स लाइक इशक जादे लाइक बेगम जान लाइक शिक्षा मंडल नाव एंड बेस्ट सेलर तांडव तांडव इन तांडव आई डोंट हैव अ मेजर रोल आई हैव अ रोल इन अ वेरी बिग ऑन सॉन्ग कास्ट बट uh mathili stood stood out my yeah. character stood out it, it did is because i as an actor understand the potential of a character now mm. uh thanks to rocket singh so rocket singh has a lot to do, to do with uh what i am today yeah. and i i would not have it any other way yeah. and i feel like uh, rocket singh was also one of the first films of ranbir that kind of first established him as first an actor actor imagine the guts that he had yeah. to do It was just the second year. Second film. No, it was the second film. Yeah. That he signed after Savaria. Yeah. So yeah. It was in 2000. It re- it released in 2009. 2009. Nine. It was released as his third film. Yes. But it was. But he signed it as it second. It signed as second. Yeah. But to see him in that zone because yeah. it was just the uh, you saw raw Ranbir today. Absolutely. And what an actor. Still a polished what one. What an actor. How yeah. was that like? Oh, I love Ranbir Kapoor. I think he. I still feel like he. hasn't got his due as an actor that mm. that he can do look at barfi what he did in barfi i think barfi was his best film ever mm. uh and i'm so happy that films like brahmastra and uh, uh even now with uh, um the one which radha what tu jhooti mein makar has done well um so i'm happy for him mm. i'm really happy for him that he is uh, finally getting the success not just yeah. uh as an actor but also at the box office because mm. i truly believe that he's a fantastic actor mm. he is he is an actor yeah he is a superstar and all that as later yeah. but he is an actor i yeah. love his i love his performances and and that is what even rocket singh did he yeah. that film made him an actor absolutely i mean if you interact with directors like shimita min and yeah. with writers like jaydeep sahani it's a school in itself you learn everything right there plus yeah. in rocket singh the other actors were so good that you just we did workshops and we could mm. learn from each other right there yeah and it was my first film imagine suddenly i'm with these diggaj actors and i'm like whoa what a uh, space am i in yeah and yeah. like uh, at that time did it ever felt like oh i'm working with ranbir kapoor but he's also rishi kapoor's son that okay so thing. i have to tell you something very interesting uh. so the first screening happened of rocket singh and i remember it was at yrf and mm. uh, rishi ji uh god bless his soul rishi ji 
uh, Yash ji, uh, God bless his soul, uh, Adi sir, all of us, we were standing outside the theatre, the back door, and uh, Javed sir, uh, we were all there, and uh, they were all chatting, and I was just this debutante, and I'm like just standing there, and I'm like, what am I doing? They're all talking about the film and all of that, mm. and I'm just happy about the fact that I'm standing with Yash Chopra and mm. Aditya Chopra and Ranbir Kapoor and Rishi. I'm standing right there, right? And then suddenly Rishi ji says, Baki sab chodo, baki sab chodo, baki sab chodo. Ye ladki, ye ladki. And he points at me and he says, She is the best thing in the film. Isne jo phone uthaya hai wo reception pe. Aisa laga hi nahi ki ye acting kar rahi. Aisa laga hai ki wo kisi, kisi call center ki actual receptionist hai. And wo jis tarik se call karte karte usne dust cheeze kiye hai, baat kara hai, isko jhadka hai, usko hai. And I'm just standing in. Rishi ji is talking about me ah. and I was like 45 minutes he has stood and he has spoken about me and of course I don't expect anyone else to remember that but I remember that Obviously. and for me I was just like you know for me Rishi Kapoor I can't tell you so you know girls obviously look at female actors when they grow yeah. up and they idolize them yeah. for me Rishi Kapoor was somebody that I really followed as a kid the one thing that I noticed about Rishi ji was that no one played instruments like, like the way he used to play it. You know that duffli wale, ah. the piano that he would play, the realism that he would bring, even though he was not really playing the instrument. But what an actor, what an actor. And for him, obviously, to know and to live with the, and of course, realize that his son is also such a beautiful actor. I'm sure mm. he felt so proud about that. Yeah, it took 45 minutes yeah. of Rishi yeah, Kapoor yeah. praising and him. Yashji I think they, and Yashji also. And Yashji also saying, ha ha, this girl has done a lot of work and all that. And the fact that I got Ishak Zade was not because I was under any contract mm. with YRF. It was because Adi sir remembered my work ethic. And yeah. he said, this girl has done a lot of work. She, she has great work ethic. Yeah. And you have done character roles even before character roles became Did the I? new norm, yeah. Yeah. the new popular trendy yeah. thing. You have done yeah. that before. Like Ishak Zade, I don't think Chand Bibi ko koi bhool sakta hai. Correct. Chand Bibi, like Jalla Walla, aaj bhi jake log, people dance to it. People still yeah. remember the, the essence of emotion, the emotion scene, you yeah. brought to it, the nuances. Yeah. You have been a part of such projects. But at that time, was it... Uh, uh, were there people who were telling you like don't do character roles only look for yeah, leading yeah, because and that all. was the time uh, I'm telling you it was a different phase of films yeah. right us wo time aisa tha jab agar aap married ho to aap kaam nahi kar sakte agar aap bachcha ho jaye to aap kaam nahi kar sakte agar aap item number kar rahe ho to aap acting nahi kar sakte agar aap iske opposite ho to aap ko star nahi banoge agar aap uske opposite nahi ho to aap star nahi banoge so there were a lot of norms at that time which yeah. obviously I had to kind of break yeah. uh, for myself not that I was trying to bring any revolution in the industry but yeah. I did a lot of that um, I did things that people said no for and I'm very happy mm. I did that. Yeah, people yeah. told me not to do Big Boss so. Uh, <laughs> but uh, was there any uh, situation where you felt that there was bad blood between someone and you? No, never. You, you because you ruffled some feathers but you... No, recently I've had one experience where mm. one of my uh, co-actors was just uh, bizarre mm. uh, for some reason. Uh, just like no reason that I have known about but on set it was just like there is a problem there like there's some problem there. of course I can't name it whatever mm. I will never name and give importance to people yeah. like that but yeah there was one person who was literally obviously having a problem with me around on the sets yeah, yeah. but uh, as uh, you mentioned uh, India's raw star like one incident that happened that yeah when it happened like yeah it was, ek to firstly, it was a blurry thing, I'm sure, for yeah. you as well, because it just happened. Someone came and slapped you on yeah. stage. Yeah, not just slap me once, slap me thrice. Slap you. Th that, uh, firstly, how was it being on stage at that time and experiencing that? Because the cameras were still rolling, no, or even if they were not rolling, like there was an audience around. And when yeah. someone comes and does that to you. There was not an audience, there were about uh, 200 people in the, in, on, the on the set. Uh, yeah. I remember that but you know honestly I just don't want to talk about that not because oh mm. I'm you know I'm under some trauma or something yeah. like that of course I still remember it and I still know what it feels like mm. and how horrible that was uh, but um, what I do want to address is how losers mm. use that incident and think that they can 
ٹریگر می ان اے وے سے واٹ کائنڈ آف مائنڈ سیٹ ڈو یو ہیو دیٹ یو تھنک اٹس اوکے ٹو ہٹ فرسٹ آف آل اے نہتا پرسن سیکنڈلی اے وومن تھرڈلی سم ون ہو از ناٹ کاز یو اینی ہارم جسٹ بیکاز سم تھنگ ٹریگر یو دیٹ یو ڈس اگری ود آف مائی اوپینین یو جسٹ آن ڈس اگریمنٹ تو آپ اپنی بیویاں بیویوں اور اپنے ماؤں کا اور اپنے بچوں کے ساتھ کیا کرتے ہوں گے behind closed doors what they are doing who knows so it's sad that's why i don't want to give this yeah. incident so much importance mm. is because mere sath hua and uh, um, it's not a joke mm. i just want to say that it's not a mm. joke uh shayad aap logo ke gharon mein ye aapne dekha hoga ki aap ke maa baap maar peet kar rahe hain ya aapke aap apni biwi ke sath maar peet kar rahe ho to shayad aapke liye theek hoga but mere sath aisa nahi اگر آپ کو فزیکلی کوئی ہرٹ کرتا ہے کوئی چوٹ پہنچاتا ہے تو وہ ایک بہت ہی بری بات ہے تو اس کا استعمال کر کے اس کو ٹرول میں ڈال کے اس کو یہ بول کے کہ آپ کوئی زیادہ مرد نہیں بن جاتے ہو یو ڈونٹ بیکم اے بگ اے مین بائی سیئنگ کہ آئی کین ہٹ یو آف کورس یو کین ہٹ می یو کین ہٹ اینی بڈی یو وانٹ یو ہیو ٹو ہینڈس بٹ وائی ووڈ یو ڈو دیٹ وائی کین یو جسٹ ٹرن یور اینگر ان ٹو لو اینڈ سی دیٹ اوکے آئی ڈس اگری ود یور پوائنٹ بٹ your point is your point my point is my point True. why can't people just relax and say okay yaar you have a mind of your own you are a different person i'm a i have a mind of my own i'm a different person you can have your opinion i have mine hmm. thank you itna kyun nahi bol sakte ho aap itna anger is actually i i really want to appeal to our country hmm. fellows <coughs> men women not just can chalo main country se shuru karte hu یہ غصہ جو ہے نا تھوڑا کم کر دیں لائف میں ایوری تھنگ از ناٹ اباؤٹ ہم دکھائیں گے ہم پروف کریں گے ارے کیا ہے یہ کیا چل رہا ہے کیوں چل رہا ہے کیوں جھنڈے لہرا رہے ہو کس بات کے جھنڈے لہرا رہے ہو ریلیکس اسپریڈ لو گو تھرو دا گاندھی وے ریلیکس ایوری بڈی ایزی جسٹ بی گڈ بی گڈ ہم نے اسکول میں مورل سائنس اور اسے پڑھا ہے نا یار تو بی گڈ نا اپلائی دیٹ بی نائس وہ کہاں گیا زمانہ جب لوگوں نے کہا تھا یار اف یو ڈونٹ اگری ود سم ون جس سے نمستے تھینک یو نو پرابلم اپلائی دیٹ فائن پیس یوگا کرو میڈیٹیشن کرو بہت ریلیکس ہو جاؤ آج کے ٹائم بہت ضرورت ہے کرو دیٹس آل آئی وانٹ سے یا آئی وونٹ گیو دا امپورٹینس ڈیٹ بٹ آفٹر دیٹ ڈیڈ اٹ ٹوک یو ٹائم ٹو مے بی انسٹر لٹل فیئر آف یو آن فیس گوئنگ آن اسٹیج اور مے بی ایسے بھی لوگ ہیں تو یو ہیو ٹو بی کیئرفل یو ہیو ٹو بیئر آف یور سراؤنڈنگ وین یو بگ باس لائک ایز یو سیڈ لاٹ آف پیپل ٹول یو ناٹ ٹو ڈو اٹ اینڈ آئی ریمبر دیر واز اے ٹائم وین اٹ واز سیڈ دیٹ پیپل ہوز کریئرز آر اوور دے گو ٹو بگ باس اور پیپل ہو آر ایکچولی وانٹنگ ٹو ری اسٹارٹ سم تھنگ دے آر گوئنگ ٹو بگ باس you were actually having a full fledged running successful career absolutely you decided to go in at that time yeah. firstly how difficult was it to kind of uh, listen because theek hai andar se you can manau yourself ki theek hai log bol rahe hain bol rahe hain but after a certain while it does get heavy when people starts teen uh, saal tak maine do saal maine reject kiya big boss mujhe do saal usse pehle bhi aaya tha but 2013 i don't know my best friend my sister they just sat me down and they said if anyone's meant to do big boss it's you because i am a hardcore big boss fan okay to maine kaha theek hai karte hain chalo they will do it and that year the makers were very convinced to change the concept and the perception of big boss they got all current uh uh contestants yeah. everyone was doing really well from yeah. their fields you know there was kushal who was the number one uh you know actor with the number one show there was yeah. kamya there was pratyusha there was yeah. um, you know tanisha there was uh 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 uh, uh, uh arman kohli arman kohli of course and there was uh, rajput what's her i forgot uh, ratan, Raj. uh, ratan rajput there was eli there was sangram there was yeah. andy everyone was doing really andy. well right um uh, so they wanted to change that yeah. uh, and they did uh, my year i think changed the face of yeah. of how people perceived big boss to be mm. but uh, uh, i also feel that jo josh tha na big boss mm. ke contestants mein wo jo nahi josh nahi bolungi wrong word mm. jazba 
जोश तो अभी भी बहुत है लोगों में जोश तो बहुत चीजों में दिखाते हैं वो हर चीज में जोश आ जाता है फॉर डिफरेंट रीजन बट जज्बा जो था ना बिग बॉस को लेकर जो प्यार जो आदर जो रिस्पेक्ट वो जो वो जो एक क्रेज था ना वो सीजन सेवन I was the epitome of yeah. Yeah. I, I still think like even today na, if you ask any Big Boss fan, Big Boss fan, they will always say always say Big Big Boss Boss 13 7 are the two seasons that stand out. Absolutely. These two are the seasons that have always stood out. And, yeah. and to me season Amit Saad like yeah. these people have yeah, started yeah. on Big Boss. Yeah, yeah, people yeah. don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. शांति के उसमें आई थिंक द फर्स्ट सीजन एंड ही वन शांत रह के आसानी से ही वन loved it but being an ardent follower of big boss like does it irritates you or maybe annoys you as a fan when you see that people now turn to arguments violence ladai matlab has become now big boss matlab ladai and even the contestants have beha- started behaving that way yeah. somewhat but they usme kya comment karenge wo to to each their own right like yeah. sabko apni journey pata hai sabko pata hai ki wahan par kya karna hai kya nahi karna hmm. hai and you can't really as an audience you can't you can't uh, choose how your contestants are the yeah. contestants are your contestants you have to figure out what you like yeah. out of them but when you mix there were uh, winners uh, like you shweta tiwari yeah. and uh, urvash jhulkar like i remember these people who have stood their ground for the right reasons yeah. and have achieved success for that and were honored for that by giving the winners trophy today a lot of other factors define that and uh, sometimes it also goes to the people who show a wrong uh, example to follow yeah some way like uh, a person who has maybe ridiculed or uh, insulted women yeah gets the winner's trophy when you see that kind of things happening does that as a big boss fan kind of makes you feel less for the show or maybe makes you feel bad for the show in the way see every year na it's um, it's turning out to be a different formula now that mm. social media has been introduced for me my year social media was just very very small factor i think twitter mm. was bigger than instagram at that time yeah and twitter pe of course there were a lot of just support and hate mm. and all of that that was existing now of course social media has increased mm. itna bada ho gaya hai spectrum is grown bigger people watch all kinds of things and people have people uh, there's an audience for all kinds of content yeah. right uh, and when obviously contestants come with that kind of following Hmm. uh where people are just out there you know they'll support you for anything that you do um that's what ends up in votes and obviously the show format is such hmm. ke audience makes the winner yeah. so who should be questioned the audience or the makers uh i think there's a lot that goes behind it uh, yeah. <laughs> technicalities that we can't co- yeah. uh, but i think every year every year big boss i think unka jo uh मेन पॉइंट जो वो चाहते हैं टू एंटरटेन राइट दे गेट कंटेस्टेंट फ्रॉम ऑल स्टार्टर्स एंड 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 द शो इज एंटरटेनिंग नाउ इट डिपेंड्स ऑन मॉरली आपको कितना खून खोल रहा है कि कौन जीत रहा है या कौन नहीं जीत रहा है और क्या देख के आप जीत रहा है या कौन नहीं जीत रहा है बट इवेंचुअली इट्स अ वोटर्स शो सो यू हैव टू पुट योर हैड डाउन एंड से दैट ओके दैट्स वॉट द ऑडियंस वॉन्टेड but I, i feel like there is one thing that when a relationship starts on a show na there's always a scrutiny of the audience that goes like ye kab khatam hoga hmm. because people think that it's only for show and ye end hoga ye end hoga honestly i don't think 99% of if you see relationships on the hmm. on the show it's never ke शो के लिए कर रहे हैं शो के लिए जो करता है वो इमीडिएटली खत्म हो जाता है शो पर ही यू कैन सी यू कैन कम टू नो कि किसके कहां पर क्या पर्दाफाश हो रहा है बट इवेंचुअली इट इज अ शो वे यू स्पेंड इतना टाइम घर के अंदर कि बॉन्ड्स बनना यू नो इट्स लाजमी इट्स गोइंग टू हैपन एंड येस आई थिंक माई माई सीजन वॉज द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट इट वॉज डिक्लेयर दैट येस आई वॉज इन लव 
eventually now of course people have uh, been more vocal and more out there about it which is great mm. but um, if I started it then yeah I guess I gave the courage to people <laughs> to be truthful <laughs> you were a pioneer yeah <laughs> in that way but somewhere do you feel that the scrutiny of being in the public and having started the relationship they kind of got the best of it at some point best of it matlab uh, it kind of overpowered the relationship because it was always under public scrutiny Who? because it started General your relationship, relationship with kusha no 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 i don't think it had anything to do with the mm. public eye or not i think every relationship is personal and uh, mm. it takes its due course yeah and eventually you found love uh, yeah. in a way that has i think uh, everyone who has followed you made happy all of us yes you find found love and zeth has been treating you so well uh, because i i have heard stories of his gifts an okay he not just treats gifts so yaar well. gifts to sabhi dete hain no no that is so like how we get to know how he treats you well <laughs> <laughs> that is like a measurement for us as well but like uh, that relationship also came with a lot of uh, baggage from the people not from you yeah. but from the people yeah. because he was younger than you yeah dealing with that when you are at actually in a such a beautiful phase of your life yeah. you are experiencing that love yeah. but there are people who are trolling you and scrutinizing you and also because social media is there they are vocal about it yeah did that ever felt a little un- discomforting at any no point? i think with the, with z coming in my life i think all of that unrest in my mind ke matlab log kya bol rahe hain kyun sol kyun bol rahe hain kya soch rahe hain i think it ended right there because he brought so much joy and stability and assurance in my life that i didn't bother about kisko jo sochna hai whether it was you know uh, not just trolls yeah people or media but also if there was anyone in the <coughs> close circle who hmm. had an opinion we didn't really care because it was zay than i who mattered yeah. and he brought that surety in me and he brought hmm. that कॉन्फिडेंस इन मी सेंग दैट क्या करना है जिसको जो सोचना है सोचने दो राइट इट्स द टू ऑफ अस हु लुक एट ईच अदर हु नो ईच अदर हु वॉन्ट टू स्पेंड द रेस्ट ऑफ आर लाइफ टूगेदर एंड दैट्स वॉट शुड मैटर लाइक आई रिमेम्बर आफ्टर कुशल ही वॉज द फर्स्ट पर्सन यू ऑल ओपनली स्पोक अबाउट बींग इन अ रिलेशनशिप डू यू थिंक लाइक दैट एक्सपीरियंस काइंड ऑफ टॉट यू टू कीप काइंड ऑफ यूर पर्सनल लाइफ अ लिटिल मोर पर्सनल no not really i wouldn't say that compared to that or compared to this hmm. it was that's how it happened no i think eventually i think right after big boss hmm. i did become a person who was very careful about what i uh, put out there hmm. uh, not to like cover anything but also hmm. i feel that people get the uh, open hand hmm. to talk as and they want hmm. if you go and put things out there so hmm. i was very careful about that uh even with zed i i was not the one who declared anything till we actually got engaged hmm. uh i think that was our first article ever or interview ever yeah. um so yeah and then we spoke only when we announced the date of our marriage we never spoke in between for about it yeah yeah i remember and that was so lovely and uh, i feel happy that i have got to know a lot of stories of your relationship that was that first barish wala yeah. and everything it just hurts me and now there's a new addition to that family yeah. and when you how was that journey of motherhood for you has been the embracing that phase of your life and just It's, having that new person to kind of uh, give yeah, your heart to yeah exactly when i hold him i'm like like this is new like he is new <laughs> he is like a new addition to this entire world mashallah 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 he is just uh, the joy of my life mm. he is just like the best gift yeah. that allah could have ever given me yeah. i think motherhood itself is just like the best thing that could ever happen to any girl um uh, agar aap chahte hain maa banna to please go ahead and do it it's like the best yeah. thing ever um uh, and i do pray that everyone gets to experience this because it's yeah. just it's just the best thing i mean aisa hota na aaj tak sirf ek hi perspective tha ke main aur meri maa to main apni maa ke liye kya feel karti hu and all of that mm. Now suddenly I am the ma and I am feeling me or mera bachcha it's like uh. the opposite feeling right uh. so it's like will he feel the way I feel about my mm. mother like does he think and now mashallah mashallah he is just, he's recognizing me and now when I go home he'll be like oh like <laughs> both his hands will come out oh. like this and it's uh. just like you want me <laughs> like <laughs> You want you show sure? like me like is uh, it me <laughs> and it's just like oh it makes me cry it's yeah. just uh, I I don't know why I feel somewhere like a an essence of your father has returned 
he him. looks a lot like my father also mashallah he's got his smile so when he smiles when he's sleeping and he's smiling he, i look like he's got my papa's smile ah. yeah so when he was born the first thing that most of zed side also said mm. my side also said that he looks like nana so mm. mashallah he's got his smile he's got my father's eyes because my eyes so my eyes are exactly like zehan's mm. mashallah and uh, He's uh, he's beautiful. Yeah. yeah, he he is beautiful. <laughs> you guys might not have seen it. I have seen him <laughs> now in photos, so I can tell you he's like the Mashallah. most beautiful person in the world right now. Mash, touch wood. Yeah. Uh, all blessings and wishes to him. But like uh, right now, who is the most amongst the family members? Who is the most pampering him the most? Right. Right now, he's at age. Everyone will be I'm Actually, sure. Actually, yeah, uh, he is very Mashallah, Mashallah, blessed that he's got a lot yeah. of people pampering hmm. him. uh my sister nigar from america mm. keeps sending like uh, stock of stuff from mm. you know br- american brands yeah. and mashallah mashallah my sister zakia has gone nuts pampering him mm. uh they were there for my delivery they really took care of me mashallah both my sisters were fabulous mm. uh at looking after me during that phase um uh, uh of course uh, you know my other sister kosher my brother they all keep sending duas and stuff mm-hmm. mashallah uh man the grandparents are enjoying him completely mm-hmm. zed's father zed's uh-huh. mother uh, uh zed's uh, uh you know entire family mm-hmm. anam munzirin aves in fact aves is the most surprising <laughs> one because aves is um he he's he doesn't show his emotions mm-hmm. very easily uh but with zehan he is like he melts like he he makes always melt hmm. so nagma mashallah everywhere they travel now i start getting pictures oh we're getting this for zehan will this winter i'm like what is so cute cutest things happen uh my friends mashallah have been so amazing with him so hmm. pampering and how so he's just like the center of everyone's life yeah, right now you know obviously. he's like he's really uh, blessed to have that he- much love truly truly but like when this amazing thing is happening in your life there are also a section of people who will find a reason to kind of pull you back in that as well and no you, but i don't really pay attention you, to that uh, you embrace, at all yeah you embrace motherhood at your own terms yeah. at the age when you for feeling yeah. okay with it but there were people who ashamed you for that as well yeah but i actually did not pay attention to mm-hmm. that like i actually don't know of reading or paying attention to anything negative around my pregnancy yeah. because i just shut that down and i never let that affect me mm. ever so i'm like i don't care who who do you even exist i and don't actually pos- pay attention to that at all yeah. and that positivity reflects in the be- uh, beaming face of nah. zehan i would say yeah he has Mashallah. he has absorbed only positivity yeah. and i think there's a lot of positivity okay. around him everyone is exuding that around thank you him. but now that you have become a mother what is the kind of legacy you want to leave for him to see and witness from your end zaid and i only want him to be happy yeah. because i think happiness gets you more happiness and happiness keeps you in a state of good health joy yeah. laughter so we just want to create an environment of yeah. happiness for him yeah. keep him away from any negativity yeah. uh you know that could affect him from anything uh don't even pay attention to that i mm. want him to be a kind loving um tolerant accepting mm. um uh, giving uh child and i hope inshallah that uh, he'll be respectful uh, polite mm. and uh, just a loving baby and i think he has the best parents to teach him that of course inshallah and, uh, thank you uh i hope i uh, soon get to meet him as well yes. but uh, after this conversation i feel like saying part 1 ended interval <laughs> rest part 2 we will do the next time yes, because i just feel the conversation with you can never end for me yeah it can just go on and on <laughs> and you have witnessed this we have done about 4 to 5 uh, yeah. interviews and it till gets now lengthier by the minute uh, it gets lengthier by the minute it, yeah. it, it just uh, there's still a, a lot inside me that i think yeah. uh, i can talk to you about but uh, thank you for giving us this time thank, thank you. you for always being the gracious guest and the most amazing person that you are thank you and i have to say while you are lucky to have zehan zehan is more all the more lucky to have you as a mother <laughs> you will always have a piece of my heart and uh, always be special to me yeah. thank you so much thank for thank you darling always a pleasure it's always god a pleasure god bless for, f- for the whole interview yeah right <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
But thank you so much. Thank you, pleasure. Yeah. Hi, I'm Gohar Khan, and you're watching me on Bollywood Bubble.